What's going on guys? Andrew here. Welcome. This is day 31. Have a happy Halloween everybody. I hope hope your Halloween season went well and I hope you're enjoying the festivities as I enjoyed for the best I could. Um, you know, I've been wearing my Michael shirt for these last reviews and um, yeah, so my review for today is going to be the Night of the Demons remake. Uh, this is from 2009, I believe. 2010, it says. It's a 2009. One says 2009, one says 2010. Um, <coughs> so essentially, this plays out pretty much like the original film. Uh, the only difference is these are people who have been out of school for a couple years. So that's the only difference. In the original, it's high school students. In this one, it's post high school students uh they you don't really see any of them really in college or anything or at least they don't talk about it so it's um interesting but so essentially um angela who is a character in the film invites all of these people to come to this uh halloween party and from there they accidentally summon a demon and all hell breaks loose then my thoughts on this one as compared, like comparing it to the original, I would say that the original is probably overall the stronger film um, just because they use lighting and stuff. They use a lot of colors and they use cinematography in a very good way in that film. The more I watch, the more I see that. Uh, maybe I'll watch, maybe if I watch this again, maybe I'll, I'll come to uh, appreciate it a little bit more. Maybe it did some cool things with it, but it has some CG in the film that I find found pretty uh pretty bad but um the chase scenes in this film i actually thought were really well done i actually really enjoyed the um the scenes like that it does have some pretty cool practical effects um so the dance scene in this film i thought was really cool it's uh shannon and elizabeth instead of uh whoever the angela girl was in the original um you know shannon and elizabeth just you know so beautiful so um you know it's you know it's it's amazing and then monica kina who is um who was Lori from the freddy versus jason film she's the final girl in that film um she's in this film they all do a pretty just they're there kind of job they they're not they're serviceable they're not really well done they're not really good actors there's there's not really good parts in this film um I enjoyed the film. It's a solid watch. If I were to give it a, my, you know, the score that I give films, I would probably give it a, I'll come in with a 7 out of 10. It's a solid first time watch. Um, I I feel like um, the more I watch it, the more I probably will like this. It doesn't have a great Halloween feel, but it does is pretty good. You know, it's, you know, Jack Lanterns and stuff like that. It's really cool. Um, I like the cover art inside here too. It's cool. Um, but yeah, that's, this is my final review. This is a Halloween movie and I watched it, you know, this past week and, you know, was excited to watch it. So, um, yeah, that's going to do it for, for, uh, my 31 days of Halloween guys, uh, coming up in the next week, I have my, um, update coming to you and, um, yeah, I have a ton of films to show you. So, um, be looking out for that, uh, coming up soon. So have a great day. Have a great day, guys. Um, again, hopefully you enjoyed your Halloween season and have a great day. Peace.